I would be very unhappy in such society. So what you do? Shoot me in scientifically good way so I don't pollute your society with moral fluff. I reply, I'm not saying that I'm some sick cruel individual here. I would do nothing of the sort. It's just that I highly suspect the moral version of good and bad to be fake and does not actually make us or our lives good or bad. Response. I just don't think our good emotions are all we have. There are bad emotions. Anger is good if you are angry at injustice. Then you do something about it. Sadness over tragedy is good thing. No reasonable scientist would create cure, which would make a person with moral compass go, oh, war. Hunger? Racism? Who cares my happiness, you or ails? Imagine all society is drugged like this, the evil could easily overtake. Forcing slavery, all sorts of things, while everybody is scientifically happy. Your idea is good idea for dystopic novel, not for actual cure. Our morality makes us human. I reply, at this point, neither of us would be able to prove whether my position is true or if your position is true. So it would all have to come down to science to prove or disprove the moral version of good and bad and if there really is a scientific version of good and bad like I said or not. My theory would need whole new tests and evidence supporting it to the point to where it might be proven. But then again, it could be disproven. Therefore, do not reject and dismiss my theory just yet. We should both keep an open mind on it just as we should also both keep an open mind to your position as well. Only time will tell. Only when the day the truth arrives will we know for sure whether my theory is true or if the moral version of good and bad is real. Response. Science has been misused before, hence it should butt out of morality. There are no scientific tests for what are you implying. Sure some crazy scientists may fluff up a proof. But, there are things that cannot be measured in scientific way, at least in if you are thinking hard science. And soft sciences only capture the reality, don't really form it. My international relations degree is a proof. Also some told me not to bring morality when interpreting wars. But can that be done? I don't think so. I can see myself fighting for something I view as moral value, dying for moral values, but not for some desanitized scientific facts. For me, good people make me happy in a way, make me feel hopeful. I need genuine things, not something from lab. I reply, but what if this is the good of the future and that science currently doesn't have the advanced technology to test and discover it? Also, according to my theory, what you choose to do and fight for would not be referred to as good or bad. It would just simply be nothing more than just a preference. In other words, if you had no pleasant emotions, then you would be doing nothing more than preferring to fight for your family and what not. But if you experience pleasant emotions from fighting for them, then your life and you fighting for your family would be of good value and worth to you.
unpleasant feelings, emotions are also motives for fighting and such as well. But they are the scientific version of bad and give bad meaning to our lives. It is the feeling emotional version of bad as I stated before. Response. There are already cures if your aim is just pleasant feelings. Some of them are illegal, sure. Most of them are regulated in most countries. Point is they create that fake happiness you talk about. Sure, drinking absent or popping molly is not all that scientific. But science cannot create cure that would make you happy all the time. Scientific version of good. And yes, life can have meaning if you are unhappy. You still can do a lot of good. And doing good will never be classified scientific version of good. Because it doesn't always feel good. I've been heavily involved in a cause for a past year, and there are all kinds of emotions that come with it. So if I feel bad after receiving a death threat, after watching the news about how the situation escalates nevertheless, would that mean I am doing a bad thing? And if I act silly and like a damn fool to get the heavy things of my mind, which involves drinking, yes. Am I doing the best thing at the moment? My reply. First off, I would not take any illegal substances for any brief moments of pleasure since I know the damage they could cause me. They would even damage the areas of my brain that experience pleasant emotions. That situation would not be anything bad to me since I am not experiencing any unpleasant feelings emotions from that idea right now. But my logic, thinking area of my brain, is choosing to avoid that situation. Second. I still see that you are not convinced of my theory yet and still believe in this moral lie. So let me try to approach this from a different angle that will hopefully convince you of my theory so that you can truly understand my lust rather than just ignorantly insisting that I can still live a good life while having this depression and anhedonia. I have written a whole entire book that is very convincing on this very subject. It explains everything about how the moral version of good and bad really is fake and how there really is a scientific version of good and bad. Also, it is whatever situations that you feel bad from that would be the bad situations to you. If you felt bad from the idea of some criminal and have felt this unpleasant feeling emotion while choosing to help your family, then it is only the situation of that criminal that is bad to you. But you choosing to help your family would be of neutral, neither good or bad, value and worth to you since you are neither experiencing pleasant nor unpleasant feelings emotions from that. Response. I just prefer to view the world beyond myself and my pleasure. My reply. Then I respect your view. But for me personally, there is nothing beyond that. It would be no different than how all life and good meaning is here on earth and how there is nothing but cold, empty space beyond. My life of pleasant emotions symbolizes earth and what is beyond that for me is nothing but cold and empty, meaningless space. If I had to put myself through severe depression in order to help innocent people all around the world, then my life couldn't get any more meaningless during that given moment. 
only when I am able to experience my life of pleasant emotions again from helping innocent people with that have immense good meaning to me. Response. I believe morality is real, universal and exists independently of social convention and ourselves. It is who each of us is supposed to be and what each of us should be doing. This is unrelated to depression. For most of us, depression is a medical condition stemming from one or more of many recognized causes. If you lack the ability to feel joy, it is not because joy does not exist. Instead, it's just a medical problem and that can often be abated to some degree. I did not understand this, nor the potential many have for depression, until I experienced it. I am and always have been a positive person. Sure, I feel bad, mad and sad based on what happens in my life and that of others that I see. But there was always a joy that shone through. So any negative feeling were always temporary and always fleeting. But then I had a medical procedure and the doctor told me might experience depression afterwards. I didn't really process this since I really didn't understand what real depression was. It was some time later that something odd happened. The world around me seemed different than before, and there was a feeling that a dark haze had come down around me, and my mind tended to ponder darker things. It was funny in a way because I am a creature of habit, and my habits are positive. So I continued to enjoy life as before, but the joy no longer seemed real. And it didn't dawn on me for a long time what the problem was because diseases of the mind often cloud our judgment. But one day, it suddenly dawned on me that this must be what depression is. Luckily, I was able to overcome this by upping my exercise regimen. And that was a blessing because I would never run three to five miles a day just to stay in shape. But I now do it so I will continue to feel good. And the fitness and added good looks, joke, are just a side benefit. If you are depressed, seek help. If you cannot recognize morality, there is a journey you can take for that too. This life was never meant to be perfect, but each of us was meant to be moral and have real joy if we are willing to seek it. My reply, but I think what you said there actually supports my theory. If you had no sense of good meaning in your life, while feeling depressed and that any good meaning you told yourself in your life didn't seem real and that it was only after you recovered that good meaning seemed brought back into your life, then that supports my theory right there that the moral version of good and bad is not real. That we can't have any real good meaning in our lives while depressed and or have anhedonia in which we cannot experience our pleasant emotions.